Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K and we are doing the invasion angle. Uh, episode 5. Second raw of the angle. Let's see what we got for incidents. Okay. Great. Cool. Um, on the last episode, we established DDP. And we continued the um, Austin becoming WCW storyline. Uh, now that it's raw, I am going to have Austin come out. And he is going to cut a promo. And he's going to run down how Vince McMahon has been basically in his way the entire time in WWF. And, you know, Steve Austin can go to any company he wants and make that company. And if Shane McMahon gets in his way, he won't hesitate to drop Shane McMahon either. It's a basic kind of... Establishing that Austin's with WCW, but he's doing it not for uh, the reason of having warm and fuzzy feelings about WCW or really being aligned with Shane McMahon. It's more that Austin is, he, he feels that he is bigger than both of these companies. After that, we're going to have a uh, short little worker is walking, and we're going to hear from Vince McMahon later. And let's go right into a, a nice little match here. Get some mid-carters in on the action. Uh, let's see. Sean O'Hare can try a singles match. He's a heel, so we need a face. Grandmaster Sexay. I'm going to let these two go and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, like, go all out. And I know Scotty Tuhati is injured, I believe. Just checking the medical here. Yeah, for 35 days. So we can do an angle here after. Uh, eh. I don't want to do the post-match beatdown yet because it's 31 days away. So let's have Vince come out. Vince McMahon is unhappy with the way that SmackDown ended, and they show a replay. Uh, it was supposed to be a two-on-one. Kane and uh, Undertaker versus Austin handicap match as punishment. Uh, DDP ended up getting involved. Oh, jeez. Uh, DDP, no, I don't want to restart. Oh, way. DDP ended up getting involved. So now not only does Vince have to punish Steve, but he is going to book uh, DDP versus Kane. Actually, let's do this. DDP versus The Undertaker as the punishment match. And then... We will get Kane versus Austin as our main event tonight. And let's do DDP and and uh, take her right now. And 
Diamond can possibly get the win. We shall see. After interference. By Canyon. And by Steve Austin. All right. That went over well. We'll go backstage. Shane. And Austin are celebrating with DDP and Canyon on that big win. And Austin says that, you know, they're going to do the same thing to Kane, blah, 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 blah. Team WCW celebrating. This is a shorter one. Probably more like a four minute angle. All right, so we can do a tag match here. Just let me look at my teams. All right. This is what happens when you go two weeks between the uh, items. This storyline is over because Eddie's gone. So we can have... Uh, yeah. We'll have Right to Censor come out and brag about what they did. So Stevie Rich, Steven Richards comes out with Good Father and so on and so forth. Um, was Bull in it at this time? No. Oh, who else was in RTC at this time? Uh, I will go look. Val. Val was. Okay. And maybe Val should do the talking. Val. Let all of them talk. They talk about how they beat down and destroyed Eddie. And Eddie will not be coming back to this company. He is done. We're going to do a heel versus heel match. Right after. Where Steven Richards is going to beat Chavo. So Chavo comes out looking for revenge. Steven Richards gives him the match and then picks up a real quick win. And uh, you two can also go all out. I want to see. Then we'll go backstage. Vince is... Furious. He is talking to William Regal about how uh, no one in the, the WWF is sticking together. WCW is coming out as a team and the WWF doesn't have any camaraderie. And William Regal's going to go fix that. And Regal says that he, he will put together a team to help keep WCW at bay. We'll then have Jericho take on. Actually, I like this. This is a match. Jericho will get the win. Um, and there'll actually be no interference. So... Jericho will get on the mic after. And he will make it perfectly clear 
Uh, he does not want any help from these WCW cronies. Uh, he was in WCW, but that's no reason to treat him any differently. And as of right now, he's going after WCW. So Jericho declares war. He's basically calling Austin out for being, you know, f fake WCW and a garbage person. Steve and Kane, not for the title. Austin gets the win when Triple H attacks Kane. In a storytelling match. Actually, let's, let's yeah, in a storytelling match. And then after the match, Triple H, Steve Austin, Kane, Undertaker, Jericho, and DDP all get into a brawl. And it's chaos and everything's getting out of control here. It seems like things are breaking down because WWF has really no camaraderie still. And WCW seems to have all of it. Ah, oh, we gotta cut six minutes. Uh, Alright, this can go down to six. And this can go down to six. All right, so what main inventors aren't being used that need to be used? A bunch, and we didn't use Kurt Angle at all. All right, uh, that needs to change. So Regal, the first person that Regal gets is Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle joins the anti-WCW force. Uh, Benoit, Christian Edge. Wait, is Benoit healed right now? No, Benoit's a face. Okay. So we'll have Chris take on. I would like to see how Chris and Buff do in a match because I may book that on an actual show and give them actual like time and then while we're testing things Edge and Christian gonna end up Dean Malenko see the thing that the problem that I'm having is I don't know who to team with Dean, not Dean Malenko now that Eddie's gone and I'm tempted to give that spot to Chavo but he's already wrestling tonight Maybe Mike Awesome? Malenko and Awesome? I mean, Lance Storm and Malenko would be fun. Let's try that. 
They're both heels right now, though. So let's get the Hardys in here instead. Whoops. So Dean and Lance would both need to turn. And then eh, Edge, Christian, and Regal. Actually, Big Show doesn't have a match. Can face some lower mid-card faces like Steve Blackman and Kay Quick. Actually, Funaki and Taka Michinoku. Come on, man. Just let me have this. All right, let's go. Let's see how this does. All right. That was Taka's performance almost as good as Big Show's performance. Yay. Ah, oh, you got a stomach infection. That's fine. Uh, Lance and Dean will probably end up being a face team of some sort. Thank you, Jack. Ooh, Bagwell's bad. Badwell. All right, Austin did good. Vince uh, is popular, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's, I mean, Vince, uh, our big guys, uh, the, the big guns, are definitely the guys who can talk it up. So Undertaker losing clean on Raw. Well, not clean, but losing on Raw. Getting pinned. This isn't something that was done too, too often, I know. But I feel as if the overarching storyline of WCW is a cohesive unit, whereas WWF is a group of guys is something that needs that shock value in order to really progress. Otherwise, you know, like if DDP beats Albert or something, like it, it doesn't matter, but he beats The Undertaker, it's a big deal. Then they celebrate backstage. RTC destroyed Eddie Guerrero's career. Oh, excuse me. And they beat Chavo. Yeah. A uh, WWF team seems to be coming together here with Regal and Angle. And Jericho beats Canyon, but WCW does not interfere with Jericho's match. Jericho declares war on Austin and his group. Austin... Apparently came out probably because he has a match coming up. So he comes out and Jericho says it to his face and Austin just gives him the cold shoulder, doesn't respond. And then comes out, beats Kane. And we have the pull apart brawl at the end of the show. Yeah. All right. So we're establishing some of the storylines here that I wanted to while still kind of keeping the WWF guys at the top. So we'll see what happens on SmackDown. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.